<laughs> Bless you. All right. How are you guys doing this morning? Got a game here against Sig. Ah, eyes are watering. So with this starting hand, I'm just going to wait. So like I said, the firecracker, I'm not going to play anything in that lane. And then hopefully he doesn't play anything either. Then I just actually my king. You just can play stuff like in the middle. It doesn't really matter what tile. And it kind of just activates the king like that. Perfect. And then we get the prince charge. <laughs> Perfect. So you always want to do that. Just ignore the firecracker coming in and then play something late. Activate the king. Okay, so he drops an eagle. Um, so I'll just scar me for this phoenix because I don't want to waste my phoenix or mega knight. But I don't want to take the whole phoenix damage, obviously. And then hopefully this dragon goes in front. A really bad dragon by him. Is it in front? No, but it's still... Pull the healer up here. Oh, why did the healer come up here? He's gonna arrow. He's gonna take my tower, but I got good damage on both sides. And I have a really good counter push. Like, I'll take his tower on the way back. And Eagle is a pretty good matchup for this deck. I'm just gonna make Knight the Bridge here. Because I have the baby Phoenix and the Prince coming in hot. And yeah, that should be tower. So it's, like, fine to take that tower. Like, I'm not going to over-defend it when I know I can just take it on the counter push, you know? And then he's way over-defending this right here. Like, I don't know why he's, like, putting all these dragons down. Unless he's going to go for my king. I can just firecracker the back here. It'll take out both of these. He's going to arrow. Uh, I'm just going to ram the back. I don't have to defend these dragons at all. Okay, I got a Dark Prince going. Ram charge is perfect, and this Dark Prince is going to kill these E-barbs pretty easily. I'll just scar me too, just to uh, cycle. And I'll just take this arrow on both of these. And then I'll just Firecracker myself. Should take out his Firecracker. Beautiful Firecracker right here. Gonna get a Mega Knight down, scar me after he rages, cause, and then I need a quick arrow down here. Really good arrow right there. Only let the firecracker shoot once, and I got a really good counter push. Obviously, Mega Knight's really good against Eagle, Limp, so whenever you see it, it's super safe to just Mega Knight it. And then yeah, Eagle Limp's not the best deck at defending, so he's gonna have some trouble. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Pretty easy matchup here. Just uh, kind of have to play it slow and just. You really want to play your Phoenix on his uh, on his Electro Dragon. Because if that stays alive too long, you're fucked. But if you kill that, everything else is easy to kill. And just, like, waiting for the Rage before you play the Skarmy. Like, knowing he has that. Yeah. And then um, I'll hop in the next one. Got a game here against Devil Dog. Uh, super bad starting hand. I'm not going to play anything. Because I don't want a Phoenix because the best air card. If he seriously doesn't play anything, just because I'm doing this like video, I'll just play a Ram Rider. I'm not going to sit here and wait. Make you guys wait. Okay, so he goes in for a cannon card. So it's probably going to be like a mortar deck or something. Let's see what he does about this. Mega Knight's it. Okay, I'll just Phoenix his cannon card. I did it too late, I think. It's whatever. And then Prince for his Mega Knight. You play it like two tiles over, so it just walks a little bit. And then doesn't jump. And plus now the Firecracker comes. It's already on the side, so it's not going to hit my tower. And that should kill the Firecracker. No, it doesn't. Honestly, kind of fine. I'd probably rather not kill it. I can just activate my King. So you play it right when it's about to shoot. Just like that. Ooh. Flying Machine. I'll just wait a second and then just scar me for this. Just wait for it to cross. So notice how I use the scar me. It's like a, it's kind of like a cycle card in this deck. Because you don't have any cheap cards. You don't always have to use it like perfectly. It doesn't really do you any good sitting in your hand. Always good to force out the fireball. I'm just going to ram the bridge. He's got no furnace in cycle. Or fireball. 
I can just Mega Knights. That's fine by me. I can just get another good Prince down. Off to the side again. I'll just arrow this. Just because I don't really have anything that could kill it. And I want my Prince to be able to charge on his tower on the way back. Oh, it's not going to charge. Any furnaces anyway. Hopefully it somehow charges on this furnace. Oh! That tip was so close. Hey, yo. But, uh... I'll just firecracker the bridge here. Oh, I kind of got messed up. Oh, really beautiful uh, fireball by him. Oh. No, I played the Skarmory too late. It's fine, though. Ram connects. So you, you always want to, like, ram when they make a mistake. Just because, like... Uh, so it is mortar. Perfect. I just... Dark Prince the tank, and then I can just, uh... That somehow got a hit on my tower. That's crazy. Just gonna evolve Firecracker for this. And then Prince 2. I'm just gonna Ram Rider right in this thing's face just to kill it. Probably force out the Furnace, too. Nice. Really good arrow here. Take out everything. Dark Prince the back, make sure I don't leak. Uh, I'll just Firecracker for this. Nice, I, I hit that, that's perfect. Hopefully it takes it out. Ah, uh, no, it wasted a cannon cart though. Hopefully it gets no more shots. That thing keeps shooting, man. Oh, I got a pretty good counter push right here. The Prince is, Prince is getting tanked for. That's gonna take his whole tower. Yeah. That's game. Ramp should get there. Yeah, GG's. Let's go. So that one was kind of tough. I just had to play it slow. Um, I, don't, I don't know.